been learning in the past few hours that Vice President Joe Biden, who was supposed to spend the weekend at home in Delaware, made a surprise trip to Washington, D.C. to have a private meeting with Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. This comes amid rumors that Biden is seriously considering a run for the White House. Let's discuss it with retired libertarian radio personality Neil Bortz. Thanks for being with me. Absolutely, Poppy. Thanks for inviting me. What do you make of this meeting between Vice President Joe Biden and Elizabeth Warren? Oh, he's, you know, he's got to be licking his chops. I mean, Hillary is flopping around out there like a, a wounded goose. And uh, the question is, how much longer can she last before she just has to go away? You can't blame him. He's licking his chops. And there's a lot of people who are saying, get in there, get in there and make a run for it, Joe. But why talk to Elizabeth Warren? Well, because Elizabeth Warren has a huge sadly, base of support in the Democrat Party. They would have loved for her to run. She has shown no inclination at the present time. So if Joe Biden could get her support, that would really be a big initial push to a campaign announcement, especially if she was standing on the podium next to him when she or when he announced. That's true. She hasn't thrown her name behind behind any of the candidates, at least not yet. Uh, turning to the issues that are being discussed on the campaign trail, um, do you think this election so far is focusing on the issues that really matter to most Americans, or do you worry it's getting sidetracked over debates over email servers and verbiage, um, the, the debate this week about anchor babies, not to take anything away from that, but is it focusing on the issues that matter most to Americans and real solutions? No. Oh, no, no, it's not. I mean, the Cato Institute just came out with its index on human freedom. Now, we love to talk about how great it is to live in a free country. But according to the Cato Institute index of human freedom, America is number 20. We're mm -hmm. number 20, and we can't do any better than that. And a branch of communist China, Hong Kong, is number one. There is an issue we should be discussing. What is that measure? What is it? What is it measuring? Human freedom, and it's based on a lot of things: how easy it is to start a business, how easy it is to get a job, how oh. positive you feel about the country you're living in, how strong the economy is, how strong the rule of law and the protection of private property is. There's many, many indexes there, but the Cato Institute is a very respected think tank in right. in, uh, in Washington. And when they say we're number 20, we need to be listening, and a candidate needs to be addressing that. Well, so that's sort of the message that Donald Trump is sending. I know that you are not a Trump supporter. I know you haven't picked your picked your candidate yet. Uh, I know it's not going to be a Democrat. I know you, you like some of the Republican candidates. But what do you think the rise of Donald Trump and, say, a Bernie Sanders tells us about the electorate right now? Well, first of all, both with Bernie Sanders and with Donald Trump, they are, as I heard them described earlier, tidal waves. Tidal waves always recede almost as fast as they came in. Donald Trump is a symbol of the complete disrespect, disregard, and disgust that the American people, Republicans, have with their Republican leadership. John Boehner and Mitch McConnell couldn't draw 2,000 people to a football stadium in Mobile if they were giving away free cars. Mm. So Donald Trump is a symbol. He is not a valid candidate. And I hope the Republicans learn he is not going to be the candidate. The sooner they let this tidal wave receive, repair, uh, recede, repair the damage and get on with it, the better off we're all going to be. Oh, that tidal wave's been growing and growing for a few months now. Uh, Neil Bortz, we'll keep watching and keep talking about it. Thanks for coming on the program. My pleasure. Thank you. Nice to have you on.